back to my channel again. I uh, hope you're all keeping well in the uh, lockdown and not going too crazy sitting at home. Today I've got something really interesting. It's a Gus Guitars G1. Now, you probably haven't seen one of these before, but they're most famous for being the last guitar that Prince ever played on stage in his last ever concert. Um, he was sent a purple one of these, not this exact one unfortunately, and he loved it so much he ordered a bass guitar version, which sadly arrived too late for him to play. Uh, this particular one belonged to uh, a gentleman called Martin Glyn Murray, who actually helped in the development of this model. And if you look on the Gus Guitar webpage, you can see pictures of Martin Glyn Murray. Um, this is number 25, um, so a very early model. And as I said, Martin Glyn Murray spec'd it out after, uh, I think he must have earned quite a bit from the single. He was the guitarist in the Mock Turtles, and they had a single called Can You Dig It? Um, so I suspect uh, the proceeds of that paid for this because, as you can imagine, they are expensive. Um, although you do see them very reasonably priced on eBay now and then. I think there's uh, one that was made in green metallic for uh, Harrods, the, the, the shop in, in London, and that occasionally pops up on eBay. This one is actually a black metallic colour. Um, it's made of cedar wood. Uh, with obviously uh, um, steel parts here and that's covered in a uh, shell of carbon fibre so it's incredibly stiff but quite light um, the neck is superb I think it's the best neck I've uh, ever felt on a guitar apart from I think my Sir Custom but this is really nicely finished and very easy to play it's slightly unusual, as you can see, because it, it is shorter than most guitars. So when you sit normally with it here on your lap, it, it feels a bit wrong. In the same way that a Firebird feels too long that way, this feels a little short this way. So you can play it like this if you want, classical guitar style-y. Um, or this way. It all works. What else can I tell you about it? Um, it obviously has twin humpokers in these uh, lipstick pickups. It has a four-way selector, not a three-way, and that's because you can have two middle positions. You can have these pickups in parallel or in series. Um, it also has a piezo bridge um, within this handmade bridge here. Let's say it's all handmade. Um, and that allows you to have a stereo output so you can have acoustic sounds as well as electric sounds at the same time. Um, I'd say it's completely custom made, um, everything is actually made by Simon Farmer, apart from the tuners here. So you, you'll find that um, it really is an incredible piece of work, it's uh, quite unique and I feel it's like one of those instruments that you, you if you order one of these you really are being a patron of the arts because you're it's like the old uh, on times when people would hire a painter to do some fabulous portraits paying for a luthier to do this I think is the equivalent nowadays because they couldn't survive without people willing to do that um, and they're sort of truly unique instruments um, it has some other clever features I should mention before we, we list some sounds. Uh, on the back you can see the actual pickup. Uh, the the uh, input cable goes in at an angle here so it won't pull out. Um, it You can either use mono or stereo. It comes with a stereo lead and I, I have one already that works with it. Um, cool guitar. Let's make some noise. Mm -hmm. 